I just started getting really insecure that like maybe he was cheating. And so then um, I found a pair of like underwear in my closet that were not mine. And it like put me over the edge. You did admit that you and Doug were going through a rough patch. Why, why do you like to keep it real with your, you know, your followers and things like that? And, you know, I mean, if you can kind of tell us like what was kind of going on in your marriage at the time. And like, now that you said like things are progressively getting better, you guys are working on your marriage day by day and marriage, uh, not during COVID is very, very difficult, but I know like, you know, it definitely adds another stress to the marriage and especially having two young kids does too. Yeah, no, I mean, so the truth of the matter is, this is, I mean, I don't know how much time we have, but like, <laughs> as much we, as you want, girl. <laughs> <laughs> there's been a few things, you know, just my husband tends to like, just, I don't want to say disappear, but kind of like he'll go grocery shopping for like four hours. And I'm like, what are you doing at the grocery store for four hours? Mm -hmm. And so, and I think, I, you know, I became very insecure, um, just like our sex life hasn't been what it was before like even before like two kids i should say like even after one kid we were like we were okay you know but now it's like holy crap it's like two kids do you have two kids or one I two, or two. yeah two. man mm -hmm. did you feel this like two kids yeah. just like max you on your it, touch it really does and because my little one he's only six months old so it's like you're definitely going through that right now too and it, it definitely it causes a big strain because you're also sleep deprived and everything <laughs> like that too yes and yeah. so and then our first is like in our bed with us so like mm -hmm. our relationship really has i mean everybody says i imagine but it's really struggled and so i started wondering like i know that like, in a, like a good sex life is important to both of us and we've never been shy about that with each other and so you know, and I know that we haven't necessarily had the best sex life in comparison to our old sex life, you know? And so I just started getting really insecure that like maybe he was cheating. And so then um, I found a pair of like underwear in my closet that were not mine. And it like put me over the edge. Cause I was like, what? I mean, I traveled a lot for work and whatnot. And so I was like, is this like something, but I mean, I had just been on a girl's trip and we all shared the same laundry. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, of course my head, Obviously, I mean, I don't know if you if you found another girl's oh my underwear. God, I freak out. <laughs> yeah, like not even in like it's an it was it was in my underwear pile. I was like, yeah. this is not my underwear. Mm -hmm. And my husband, thank goodness, he like you know he helps do the laundry and whatnot. And we had had a nanny at the time, and so one of them must have like put it there mm -hmm. while I was away for work, and then like not realizing that it wasn't mine because, which is another reason why my therapist was like, do you think your husband would have done that? <laughs> right. <laughs> but, like, you know, when your mind is sure. racing and you're feeling insecure, um, yeah, I definitely went there and I was like, geez, like, I think my husband cheated on me. Mm -hmm. And he was like, very obvious. I mean, imagine being told that you, that some, your wife thinks you're cheating and you haven't done that. Like, that's a really, that was a tough, that's a tough thing that we're still kind of working through. And we, we don't talk about it publicly very often mm -hmm. because, you know, when you're talking about keeping it real, I'm all about keeping it real, but I've, I've learned through therapy that there are some things that you need to work through yourself as a couple and, or as a person and kind of, um, you know, like I don't, I'm all about keeping it real and I want to be able to share solutions and I'm not about mm -hmm. like, oh, but then we're just going through a disaster done, you know? Like, I want to be able to be like, okay, so this is a disaster we went through. And this is how, like, if you're struggling with something like that too, this is how, you know, we got through it. And I'm like, we're still in the midst of it. So I'll share a little bit more about that when we get through it. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, it's just been, it's just been, I think for everyone, it's just been, you know, there's a lot of things happening in life right now.